Hello everyone, welcome back and today I'm going to show you how to install shaders for Minecraft. Now I'm going to be doing it for the version 1.21.1 and before we get into it too much there is a few requirements you need to actually get shaders. So the first one is you actually need Java to make shaders work. So if you don't have Java, I do have a video on it and I will leave a link on the screen right now and also in the description down below. Next we need Optivine. So on this website just here, we can actually download Optivine which you can download by clicking on preview versions here and then download. Now you can do it for any version you want, as long as Optifine does support it. If you do want to do older versions, you can come down here to show all versions. And they have loads of other versions in here. But if you want the newest version of Minecraft, come up to the top. And up the top here, we have got the newest version for Minecraft. Simply from here, just click on the little mirror button just here. Or download. I'm just going to click on the mirror button. And then from here, we have to click on download just here. We're also going to want some shaders as well. So I will leave a link in the description down below to this website where you can actually get your own shaders. Now for me, I'm actually going to sort by the version I want to actually use my shaders in. So the version of Minecraft I'm using is 1.21.1 and that is the version I downloaded for Optivine as well. So simply what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down, I'm actually going to come to the game version here then sort by the newest version for Minecraft and already it's already given me some in here. Now I can select any of these in here as they will work for Minecraft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here um, let's actually just choose some of these shaders. You can do any shaders you want, you can do as many as you want as well as it doesn't really matter. If you do find one you like, just click on the download button just here. Make sure it does have the version in here, the 1.21.1. But for me, I'm gonna be downloading this shaders just here, BLS. So these shaders here are pretty good. So I'm gonna click on the download button just here. So click on that. Now this will take about five seconds or so to download. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna to go to my downloads folder and it's just here. I'm gonna drag these two files onto my desktop, just like that. Click on the little X button. And here we go. We have now got our Optivine and a shader pack as well. Now you can download as many shaders as you want, you don't have to do one, you can do 20, 30, it doesn't matter, but this will only work if you install Optivine. You can also do it with some other mod launchers and stuff like that, but Optivine is the easiest one to do. And also if you don't have the coffee mug in here, simply just right click on this file, open with, then click on Java. So make sure you do do this and make sure it has got the coffee mug in here. If it still doesn't have the coffee mug and you can't see Java on here, you need to install Java. So yeah, make sure you do check out that video on how to install that. But for me, I can see the coffee mug. I'm going to double click into this file just here. So double click in that. Now from here, I'm going to click on install just here. So click on that. Now this will take a few seconds and already it is done. Click on OK. We can now get rid of this file. We do not need this one no more. So get rid of that one. Now it's time to load up our Minecraft launcher. So I'm actually loading mine up right now. So my Minecraft launcher has now loaded up. So simply from here, you want to make sure that you have Optivine selected here. So if it Optivine selected here, that is great. If you can't see it here, click on the little arrow just here. And make sure you do select it. If you still can't see it here, come up to the installations up here. Then click on new installation. And in here, make sure you select your Optivine, which is this one just here. You can give it a name, give it a picture as well if you want to. Then click on create. But because I already got one down here, I'm just going to leave it and click on play. So once we are now on Minecraft, simply what we're going to want to do is click on the options here. Then in here, video settings. Then come down to your shaders. Now in here, you can see I've already got it installed. But what you're going to want to do is, is actually click on the button down here, a shader folder just here, click on that. Now what this will do is actually load up your shader pack folder in your .minecraft. Simply from in here, what you're going to want to do is just drag in your file here. So just drag that in. But as I've already got one in here, I don't need to drag it in. So whatever shaders you have downloaded, simply just drag them into this file just here, just like that. And then they will come into here like this one. Click on the little X button, come back over to Minecraft. And in here, you'll be able to select them. And again, you can have as many shaders as you want. You can have 20, 30 or 40, or you can just have one. It's up to you. Once you've done that, just make sure you select the shader you want, and then this here will load. I wait for this to load just here, and then click on done. If you would like to see a video on the top 10 shader packs, be sure to check out my video on the screen now. Also, there will be a link in the description down below as well. But that is everything in this video today. Hopefully you have all enjoyed. If you have, be sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all in my next video.